Happy New Year, two days uh, after. Two, is it two days? It's two days. <gasps> oh. We had a great New Year's. I threw a bash. Yes, it was a great party. It wasn't a great party. No, it, was. it was really yeah. a lot of fun. And she did all the cooking. Uh, nice people. Of course, they were our friends. Some of them I hadn't met before. Good drugs. Oh, the best. The best. A little Always. bit of everything. Good wine. The wine was excellent. And there was a piggy dog. My dog, Lola. Ate everything. She, she ate everything. She's bloated. I took some shots of her. It's on my Facebook page of Lola laying on the couch all sucked out. She's like, mm, mm. Oh. Yeah. And the fireworks. They had fireworks just like 4th oh, of July. Her apartment overlooks the, the, the place right there in the water. By the Statue of Liberty and Brooklyn that whole Bridge. downtown. And they shoot off the fireworks. And that was so nice. Today we want to talk about what is the average vulva like? Because we get a ton of questions. Yes, all the time. It's, am, am I normal? My inner lips dangle. I can't find my clit. Um, my vagina is so tight it hurts during penetration. Or my vagina is too loose and my boyfriend doesn't get any sensation and 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 and, 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 I, can't find, and I can't find my clit. <laughs> you know, where is it? I think I was born without one. I'm sure I don't have a clitoris. You know, I think Betty Dotson has seen more vulvas and her I have, yes, because of the work I've done. I mean, now you'll say that a gynecologist will have seen as many, but they have a different perspective. Uh, a very they're, different perspective. They're looking to see if there's anything wrong. I'm looking to see what's there as an artist. That's my perspective. So I tune into the shape, the size, the form, and I can tell you, I have never seen a bad vulva. Are you ever. listening to this lady? Never. There's no such thing. Mm. I would have I ever looked and gone, oh, that's terrible. You must remove it. No. Never. It all works. Different yes. sizes, color, and shapes. You Ooh. know. Look what? at your cleavage. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I just put on this dress and it's. And when I go like this, look, it goes. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like, a, looks like a vulva. You know, over the weekend it with does. the big. It looks it like looks a vulva. Like a vulva. <laughs> Does too much sex make your labia longer? Well, this is like me when I was a kid, and I finally, at the age of 10, took a look, and I had the dangles that looked like a chicken's waddle, and I freaked, totally freaked out, because I was convinced I had done that from too much childhood masturbation, and I swore off. It didn't last long. <laughs> I was going to say, how long did you last? <laughs> I cut a deal with God. I went over to the other side where it was shorter, and I was going to masturbate with my finger there until they evened up, and then I'd stop. <laughs> but it never evened up, so I thought, what's the point? And that's the whole thing. It all it varies, and nothing you can do to manipulate or touch yourself is going to change no, it. No, it's, it's, ab it's average. It's like, think of a man's testicles. They don't match. One is always longer, and we're the template for the male genitals. So everything we have, they end up with, and all these similarities, if they would just stop and figure it out, are uh, normal is the word, or average. Now the question number two. Okay. Over the years, my labia seem to be growing longer with one longer than the other. Is this normal? Well, Same darling, question. I doubt if they were even to begin with. Now you probably are just beginning to notice them. And yes, they will change over time. And by the time you're as old as I am, I've got one that's nearly down to my knees. And I take great pride in the length of my dangle. Uh, you know, my dangling lips, inner lips, have never bothered me. I know no. some women have them shortened because they say it bothers them at the gym. No, no, no. But that's... I have little ones. I just, you know, you tuck them into your underwear, just like balls. Go to our general art gallery and see the range in vulvas. Yes, yes. My pussy is too tight that my, so my boyfriend can't penetrate me. What can I do to loosen up? Oh, perfect, perfect. So, yes, yes. She needs to go to the Betty's Vaginal Barbell. That so go in the sex shop section. Yes. And if you click on Betty's vaginal barbell, she has a whole article. And it's, I, I actually go through the steps of how to use it, you know, what to do, because what you what she needs to do now is get in touch with her PC muscle, the pelvic floor. But why is it so tight? Like, how come some people it's tight and some people it's looser? It hasn't been used. I mean, I don't know what about you, but when I was ten years old, I had a jump rope handled in there. Well, I always did fingers. See? And, yeah. So, so you ha she has to penetrate herself. That would, that's, that's the beginning. The beginning is first get in touch with, the, with the, uh, the PC muscle. If she can get a barbell, that's perfect because she can use, you know, play with her clitoris while she's doing her kegels. 
you know, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. and release, squeeze and release. Uh, or she can just simply put her finger inside her vagina and tighten the muscle and release it, tighten the muscle and release it, and she'll feel it, and she'll feel if it's, you know, the strength of it, and she'll feel it getting stronger, which is encouragement. Oh, that is. Yeah. And what about lubricant? Would that help? Uh, uh, any any time you're going to do any penetration of the vagina lube, or the lube, anus lube. or your nose holes or any other orifice. Lube. lube. I think my clitoris is a penis because it's large and sticks out when I'm excited. Now, I had this question when um, from a 16-year-old girl on, this, on my site, I remember. And then when I saw it in your questions this week, I'm like, I have to pull this one out. Because a lot of women think yeah. that there's some kind of XXY or something weird. You have a big clitoris. Praise the goddess of sexual love and abundance. How nice, how nice, how wonderful. How lucky. How lucky can you be? <laughs> the other question is, I don't think I have a clitoris. Because you know? they can't find it because it's all the way up in the hood and it's yeah, small. It's, it's there. So any woman who can't find her clitoris, you put your finger on the shaft of the clitoris. That's the, the, the glands is the little tip at the bottom. That's and, what you see is the gland. Well, actually you see a little line where it's like a... Mm -hmm. Because very often the glands is tucked under its hood to protect it. Think of a think of an uncircumcised penis. You don't see the head of the penis when the foreskin is hanging over it. You don't see the tip mm -hmm. of the clitoris all the time. You can on some when the hood is covering it. So it's don't worry about that. Put your finger on top and go back and forth. Move your finger back and forth. It's like it feels like a little rubber band. Yeah, yeah, and that's does. the it shaft, does, does. and that that's the shaft, and you know if you've got a shaft that there's going to be the glands on the end of it. Glands, the tip of the clitoris, the glands doesn't pop out. It doesn't have to pop out. Especially, it doesn't have to pop out. No. to have an orgasm. No, absolutely not. My ex and I use a lot of vibrating toys, and now my clit is gone. It receded far on the roof, and I can't get it out. Help! <laughs> Trust your clitoris knows what it is doing. <laughs> I want to control my clitoris. It must be there when I want it. It's like a man demanding an instant direction. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't happen for them either. <laughs> Sorry, girlfriend. It's there. It's when it's being highly stimulated. It's like the nerve endings are going, and they pull in. Happy New, Happy New Year! Year. <laughs> How my It didn't stop? show on the... <laughs> Do the little sparkles. There's confetti, but it's not coming out. Wait, here's some... Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Love your vulvas! All of them. They're beautiful. They're wonderful. Bye.